But um, we're out for fight number two on March the 11th at the uh, University of Bolton Stadium where he made the debut and uh, even though the scorecards don't say it, it was a very good debut mate against a real unknown quantity, uh, a young kid who uh, was a good amateur, Estonian, I think he was coming into the fight with a 3-3 three and three record um, and I, I thought, I thought your, your jab was on fire mate, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Yeah, well, to be honest, obviously I had um, an hand operation a few years ago. Um, it was like literally when I just started here. So I've been working a lot on my jab um, with my left hand. I think you could definitely see that in the fight. Yeah, I control the fight totally. I, like I say, I think the scorecard said it was 37-39. And considering he had a point deducted, I thought there was a good argument for that to be 40-35 for you. Yeah, same. So, um, but, but it is what it is. The right man won. Um, and, you know, further down the line, it might benefit you because people will look at that. Um, we don't know because we don't know what that kid's going to go on to do. Because uh, I think he's half decent. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he is. Yeah. But you've got another another serious test. I, I don't know. Do we not like you? Because that was, you know, for your debut, that was not the guy we'd normally pick. And then for your second fight, you're now getting with a kid with another uh, level record, one on one. Uh, both of his fights are on the VIP shows. Uh, he made his debut against uh, a Greek kid, Stathas, um, where he had a right shaky start. Stathas looked tremendous and uh, nearly put him over in the first round, but he warmed up into the fight, did really well, and uh, managed to see the final bell. Um, and then we brought him back, we fought, he fought uh, a kid who I rate really highly, a kid called Thorn Wright, um, and he only went and beat him, you know. I yeah, I seeing that. So, so he's coming into this fight again with a, with a, with a, a level record. So that's good for me, like I, I want these, um, I want these kind of fights, I, see, I think you'll see a better me against people like that. You know, you know, because they, they come in with a, a little bit of hunger, aren't they? Yeah, like that's desire. It. You know, they're not stuck in the waves. And certainly, even if they, even if it was just on the road and being just a journeyman, uh, very early on, they, they come with a different attitude than they do them when they've had a hundred fights and they know what they're doing. Um, they don't know what they're doing. What they do know is, is, is how to have a fight. Yeah. And uh, again, like you said, that can play into your hands. Yeah, of course. Um, it's to be honest, like. <laughs> Like I said, they're the kind of fights I want. Um, I'm flying in the gym at the minute. I've been getting well, good. Go I've been watching you today, and you, obviously, most of the hard work's been done. Um, but you're just keeping everything nice and sharp. And yeah, this is the last hard week now. Mm -hmm. um, and then Monday next week. Have you got any more spars lined up then before then? Yeah, I'm sparring on Friday. Who are you sparring? Connor Ward. Oh, right, good kid from Boston College. Yeah. Yeah. Only small, but uh, powerfully built. Yeah, he is. So I'm sparring Friday. Uh, that'll be my last six rounds and then yeah like I say next week it's just pad work keeping on top of the weight that was a, a bit of a tough one there you had uh, both Blaine and Ricky in there uh, okay. Blaine uh, with a body belt on and uh, Ricky with the pads been like that for the last eight weeks horrible <laughs> <laughs> yeah. aren't they? they are they are it's, it's, uh, even the easy sessions are hard sessions here yeah but that's it but to be honest like because it's quite because it's quite a big team here He's always someone who's got a fight coming up. Like well, today's been busy, hasn't oh, it? Yeah. Everyone's been in today, and everyone is is, is busy uh, in March. Are we in March yet? Well, no, we're still yeah, in Mar February. Yeah, right? everyone at this mean Jack in March, uh, Cole's in March, and then Brett's the week after. He's in April. Um, so yeah, the gym the gym's nice and busy, but I prefer it like that anyway because everyone's pushing each other on. And how do you feel now after you you making your debut? Do you feel a different fighter? Because they always say you do. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Um, Blaine and Ricky, they've been doing some good work with me. Um, yeah, I do feel a different fighter. And to be honest, I feel like I'm more suited to, to the professional game mm -hmm. than I was the amateur game. Um, but I think that's I've said to you before. I've I've been a, been in and around a lot of pro gyms since being young. Yeah, but um, didn't you do a lot of work early on when you was um, Lee Beard? Yeah, with Lee Beard and yeah. Adrian Gonzalez, yeah. Um, so I've been around them in other gyms. Are you slowly? What are you, 24? 
24, yeah. 24, so it's still a baby. Getting um, on at her. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, if we keep matching you the way we're matching you, these are, like I say, they're not easy fights. These are, you don't know what you're getting. Um, so if, if you keep doing well like you're doing, then surely, sometime in 2024, if, if the results keep coming the way, like you say, your first performance was, um, maybe maybe you could be fast tracked into the uh, title a little bit sooner than your stable mate in Jack, because Jack's still, well, Jack's still 21, 21 or 22? Yeah, just turned 22. Yeah, so he's a couple of years younger than you, isn't he? So you could be able to be pushed maybe a little bit quicker. Yeah, and um, <coughs> like you say, uh, being fast tracked, I don't think, Oh, in the right stages, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing for me. Yeah, well, we're, we're certainly going to find out on the uh, on the eleventh because, like I said, a, a very good win last time out against uh, Thorn Wright, who I who I rate hey, I, uh, highly. I think he's a very good kid, but I think it was a problem was he was man against boy. Yeah, uh, at all, I think he was only twenty years old. I think Jake Smith was naturally a little bit. I think Thorn's a little bit smaller than you. Jake's more your size. Yeah. Uh, and I think with the age difference and the slight size difference, it took its toll a little bit on uh, thing, and he faded in the last couple of rounds. Um, but I had a very good first two rounds against him. Yeah, he did, and then he came on strong, didn't he, Jake? He did. In the third and fourth, he came on strong, and I think that's what won, him, won it for him, because I think first and second, I'd probably give that four. It was still close, yeah. but then, like I say, he came on strong, didn't well, he? Well, I, I think. The best Don could have helped hope for would have been a draw out of that. Um, I think he was a little bit harsh that you know the other kid got the win, but um, like you say, he did do well in the second half of the fight and showed that maturity that he, he, he had over uh, Thor. Um, do, you, do, you, do you watch a lot of, because uh, we just spoke about it, I think you've watched both of his fights, or do you just leave it down to Will and, and Ricky to? Well, my, on my debut uh, in December, I was meant to be fighting this Jake Smith, but for some reason the doctor won't let me fight. Uh, yeah, because he picked up a little, a little. It was only a tiny little nick. I don't think I think it wasn't stitches or anything. Yeah. And so uh, until it was all finalised. On his eye, wasn't it? Or yeah. yeah. Um, so I didn't end up fighting him, but obviously I was. I did an eight-week camp for for this Jake Smith. And then last minute I had to we got to change an opponent, um, and now it's on with him again. So we carried on. We basically just carried on what we yeah what we didn't finish off last time. So like I say, uh, a good fight for you um, because again you didn't know what you was going to get then, and you don't know what you're going to get now. Yeah, going back to that question, you said do I watch a lot? Do I watch a lot of my opponent? Um, I watch. I watch a bit of it. Um, but you don't do have a little chat with Lee and Ricky then yeah, don't buy too much into it, let them worry about me. Yeah. Like so, uh, you're, you're looking very on, very sharp today mate, so uh, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you uh, on the March 11th at the University of Bolton Stadium and hopefully afterwards I'll be talking to you and I'll be saying 2 and 0. You will. Well, yeah, I'd just like to thank all my sponsors at the bottom of the screen for uh, helping me with this journey. For all boxing. Info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.